Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Swiss Dota 2 Championship. My name is Morality Claus, and I will be casting this game between Pulse Gaming and Budge Nudge. Alright, um. So, let us begin then. Now, Pudge Nudge have been true to their name and actually picked a Pudge. This should be interesting. I'll probably be watching him the whole game because the last time I saw Pudge picked, he went absolutely crazy throughout the entire game. Pulse H have been, meanwhile, relying on their Crystal Maiden. They've picked up the Lifestealer. Uh, wondering if this is a block pick or just a straight up pick on their side. Crystal Maiden Lifestealer is a good combo, but is it the best combo is the question. I'd rather have CM Juggernaut other than GM. CM Lifestealer. Quick picks coming out from both teams. In fact, Pudge Nudge haven't even gone into their reserve time yet. Kunkka is picked up by Pudge Nudge. That's another interesting, another interesting pick. Uh, I really like watching Kunkka. He's a very good. He's he's easy to learn, hard to master. Good ghost ghost chips are always nice to see. Alchemist, the 1,200 GPM wonder. Well, we all know what Alchemist does, and Tinker, of course, is Tinker. Very high skill based here as well, and not easy to learn. Pulse CH, meanwhile, Crystal Maiden Lifesteal, the Ogre Magi. Their team is not squishy, other than the CM, but the CM can, if she gains a bit of mobility, which she can in the form of a Blink Dagger or a Force Staff, she will be able to dodge much of Pudge Nudge's attacks. She's probably going to be the first one to fall in a fight, probably followed by the Ogre Magi, but definitely not the Weaver. The Weaver is a very good pickup. She doesn't do much in the early game, but in the late game she will be hard to lock down unless Pudge can actually eat her up. Eat it up. I don't actually know if the Weaver's a he or a she. Kunkka will not be able to lock down the Weaver and Alchemist. Yeah, you're going to need to start stun locking people here. Tinker will probably need to get a Hex. Um, <laughs> in this case. So, pretty good there. Pretty good pick up there. Reserve time. Yes, my mate just asked me if I was singing along with the Swiss anthem. Uh, I'm about to... I'm entering the process of becoming a Swiss citizen. Unfortunately, I have not learned the anthem yet. Something I still need to do. Uh, ban out to Tidehunter. Good ban out here since no offlaner is actually... Well, to be honest. Okay, Pudge Nudge, what are you doing? Techies, Tinker, Alchemist, Kunker, Pudge. Not your usual team, you know. Pudge support, Kunker support, Alchemist carry, Tinker mid, Techies offlane? No, you can't put a Techies solo offlane. Oh, there's going to be a Techies Pudge combo, most likely. Oh, that combo is savage. Pudge needs to get a blink, though, before it can even happen. Yeah, the Techies Magnus combo is better, but the Pudge Techies combo is pretty good. If you can pull it off, it's pretty good as well. Now this is going to be, now Pulse needs to start thinking here, the Weaver is probably going to go on the offlane, Crystal Maiden and Ogre Magi might as well be, Ogre Magi might roam with the Crystal Maiden, Crystal Maiden isn't the best roamer though because she has that slow movement speed. They are a pretty good combo though, they have Frostbite, they can, if she levels Crystal Nova, they have Crystal Nova, they have the Aura to Mana regen, and Ogre Magi can put out a lot of burst. This, now Pulse CH, what they still need is a mid, or if they're going to put the Weaver mid, they might as well take an offlaner. But most likely they're not. Yep, they're going to take a Razor, which is not going to be the carry. Yep, it's going to be the mid Pine Pain Apple. Oops. Actually, Pain Apple did play the CM last time, so... Terra 1 played the carry, so I'm going to guess the Weaver carry. Noob Tech played the offlaner. I've seen offlane. This doesn't look too standard. I'm going to say they're going to mix up the roles here. Meanwhile, Alchemist will be played by Daffy, who did the carry role. Rats Pits will be playing Techies off lane here. No, Beast Aquino was the off lane. Off lane Tinker. Rats Pits did play a support, but I don't think support Techies is what they're going for here. Bugs will be playing Pudge. So interesting teams we're gonna see here. Very interesting teams. Better get ready. Um yeah. I'm interested to see how this is gonna turn out. Well then let us get into the teams then. Pulse, Noob Tagger will be playing Lifestealer. Pain Apple will be playing Razor. Terrible One will be playing Weaver. Pure Skills will be playing Crystal Maiden. And last but not least, Windhood will be playing the Ogre Magi. Meanwhile, on Pudge Nudge, we have Beast Aquino playing Tinker. Alchemist playing Daffy. Bugs playing Pudge. 
Old Coward playing Kunkka and Techies playing Brad's Pit, who's already starting to start up the mine. The mine, uh, well, just the mines. This should be interesting. If they will, they walk into the Techies mine or not. That is what I am waiting to see. We probably won't catch it since it's a very random occasion. It can also be the mines can also be demined. In fact, it looks like Punch and Edge might actually get both bounties here. Uh, they need to hurry up. Noob Tagger needs to hurry up if he wants to get the, that Mounty Rune. Yeah, they're not going to. Uh, they're not going for the Mounty Rune here. Yeah, no, Tekis is backing off. Good decision by him. I mean, if he were to stay, they probably would have died. <laughs> However, the mines are lane, so. Ooh, Terrible One is actually want, wants to. Interesting. You probably didn't need to Skakuchi there. Maybe some items, maybe to see the, what items he bought first. Uh, Mango on Bugs, so... Oh, good item on him. He's actually going to be supporting top, yes, with the Tinker mid, like I imagined. Kunkka punch support is not a usual combo. Um, what it does lead to is, however, they can, in fact, stun lock pretty well, dragging someone into the Kunkka wave. In fact, or, you know, dragging someone in, Daffy throws down a, an unstable concoction... Kunkka just makes sure to, to secure the stun lock. Especially versus the uh, Weaver, this could be a very good idea. Um, the Weaver also, they also placed a preemptive sentry ward just in case Weaver decides to back off. Winterhood will be there to support the Weaver. In fact, they know where the Weaver is. They should know this. Terrible one should know by now that they have a sentry ward at hand. Kikuchiing will only give him that small nuke damage. Let us check Maiden. In fact, let's bring up the last hits. Uh... Nothing much to see on the last hits yet. We will check that again in a minute. Pain Apple versus Tinker. Now, how does Razor versus Tinker fare? I believe Tinker. I believe Razor actually wins slightly until Tinker reaches level six. Yes, especially since he's going Rocket's Laser. Um, in fact, he's using Laser to last it here. Razor should win this, however, pretty easy. Although Tinker's base damage is slightly higher, Razor can steal damage, so you have to remember that. Mines are in fact still there. No one has walked into them yet. These are all the physical damage mines, so even if Rage is activated, oh, it's very close. There's Tankies with his abysmal re base damage of 32. It's basically an... Oh, I missed that. And Terrible One looks like... Actually, actually, Terrible One looks in a bit of trouble as well. Um... We check it was stun into no yes oh just actually rot wow stun was channeled but was not thrown huh interesting well then good kill on the top lane it's a defensive tri lane although it can it's a very aggressive it's actually a lane with a huge amount of kill potential and Bugs is rotating mid wants to get the razor let's see how his hook will be he's not hooking. He's hooking now. Very good hook on Bugs. Painapple is trying to back off, but this is a dead Painapple. And that means Bottle for Beast. Who, yes, switched around the lanes, actually. He's going mid instead of the off lane. And in fact, giving Brat's Pits an off lane. The solo off lane on the techies is not the greatest of things, but you know what? He doesn't care. He's got a soul. He's, he's already got a soul ring. That's all he needs. In fact, they're not actually zoning him out of the lane because they know. They know. They're gonna die. And we want to look at top lane here because this is the lane with the most kill potential. Bugs is in. Going in. Oh! Did he want to get the courier? Did he want to get terrible one there? I'm not sure. Stun is on terrible one though. Shkunka, uh, only a one second stun so nothing much. Ooh! Good counter kill by Weaver. Getting the kill first so... Actually, that's pretty bad. Getting the kill first means he's already lost that gold. It's reliable gold, though. So, he gets a kill. Gets a kill off. Gets his uh, Wraith Band, so it's pretty good for him. Means he can, in fact... Means he has a bit of a... I mean, he, he, he gets a bit of farm. It's a one for one on the weave. It's 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 okay. Uh, if we check last hits quickly, it's Daffy, of course. No, not Daffy. Sorry, Noob Tagger doing well. I mean, he's got techies against him. What can you do? 
as a tech is against a life stealer. Tinker is doing pretty well as well, and Alchemist is okay as well. Okay. Mid lane is completely being dominated by Tinker. I mean, what I'm saying is doing okay, that's pretty of an understatement if you consider Razor as 5 to 2. Last hits, not enough denies there. Tinker's been denying him everything. Same with Noob Tagger. It's not letting techies get to farm, however. Both are level 4, so it's not that bad. Or Coward, of course, does not have any last hits. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Noob Tagger walking just slightly off. Right into the mines. Giving Techies his first kill of the game. And you know what? That's how Techies will get kills the entire game. Just random mine detonations. They're going to have to buy a pretty early gem if they want to get rid of it. I mean, pretty early. They, they need they need a gem like within 10 minutes. Within 10 to 20 minutes. Otherwise, stuff starts going bad. And the problem is as well, you can't start walking around on your own anymore. Uh, it's, 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 it's terrible playing against Techies in the pub match if he's doing well. Walking around suddenly you're dead, that's um, not the greatest of feelings, to be honest. So, anyway. We will paint Apple trying to catch up, but he's 10 to 4 with 25 to 13 Tinker. And Noob Tagger as well. Noob Tagger's doing really well for himself, but uh, is he going to be able to reach that magical 50 that you want after 10 to 15 minutes? We will see. Uh, Kunk actually managing to get a kill on Tink on Weaver for top lane. Uh, let's check Windhunt. Windhunt is in a bit of trouble. Good torrent there. Nice body block and he will be dead. Pudge securing himself a kill. Uh, Daffy uh, is actually going more of a greedy build. He's going 1-1-3-1 one, one, one at level 6. 1-1-3, one, one, so uh, going a bit more greedy here. Techie's actually getting another random kill. Getting those mines right here that he placed in the very beginning. So, Techie's doing well for himself. Techie's is doing really well for himself. Uh, two, he's 2-0 two and oh right now. Um, already has his boots. He probably wants to get the eggs or what you usually get. Ah, Pain Apple looks like to be in a bit of a situation here. Windhood might be the next one to fall. Bugs will not hook. He doesn't have hook. And no, Tinker was, um, is opting to go for the late rearm, like you mostly do. Actually, laser on Windhunt. Windhunt, what were you doing? That's, uh, what is it? 500 damage, right? No, the 320 pure damage. In your face, at once. It's, it's not something you can withhold. Terrible one, meanwhile, has a ring of Aquelia. Um... He's 1-2-0. He's got... He needs to back off a bit. Pure Skills is going to freeze Daffy here. They want to go in on Daffy, but Daffy activates ult and starts challenging up the stun. Nice torrent. Terrible one could actually be in a bit of trouble here. And now he's the one being chased. He does not have ult yet, so there's no way to go back. Nice the damage there. And Terrible one will get away, though, because he is a weaver. Will Pure Skill take the fall for him, though? Hmm. If that Acid Spray would be a bit closer to the tower, they might actually have gotten the tower. So, there you go. Oh, Tinker just getting Weaver from behind. What was Weaver doing? Staying there. Get out of there when you're in that situation. He's already got his BOTs after 8 minutes. Oh, it looks like they want to go on a Daffy now. And another random kill from Techies there. Taffy will end up dead here. Nice rotation by Painapple. Crystal Maiden securing the kill. Uh, no boat on Kunker, so... Whatever he's planning to do, I would not try it. He's got a DD though, which is pretty good if he can hit a creep or something. Meanwhile, Techies, let's have a look at mine placements. I mean, he does, he only has physical mines, of course. He didn't actually level remote mines yet, go, opting to go for a more suicide squad attack build. Actually, let's have a look at Pudge. Torrent onto two. Very good torrent. The coward will in fact be targeted here. Alt is popped by Painapple. Meanwhile, Tinker getting a kill on the Weaver once again. Hulk missing uh, Painapple, in fact, catching uh, all coward as well. But an easy kill on the Razor as he is was in a bit of a situation. Pudge is going for a four staff, most likely. Oh, actually, he's going Trenkles. Oops. 
my mistake. Daffy already finishing up his Midas. It's a bit of a late Midas considering he's a full Grievous Greed Alchemist, but he has one death to his tally, so pretty, pretty good. Beast has a, almost finished up his soul ring. Just needs a bit more. In fact, he's could te technically buy it right now. Techies, of course, going full suit squad squad attack. Not opting to get remote mines. An interesting decision. Probably doesn't have the mana for it, I'm going to say. But, I mean, you have a soul ring, so technically you should have the mana for it. Daffy is farming up on his own here, get, having the Midas ready. Terrible one needs to want, wanted to make if something happened. There's already Tranks up on pure skills. Pretty okay. Akino firing off the rockets will kill someone. No. Wild Hunt is low though, so he has to back off. Salve up and hope to not get randomly murdered by Pudge, who now has an Invis rune. In fact, there's a TP out from Or Coward, who is now heading top wants to get a kill on terrible one but terrible one would just skukuchi out pure skills meanwhile staying in a pretty risky situation in fact there's a two-man rotation for the four-man top terrible one baiting it out uh this could be actually a bit of a situation for pudge no just now the entirety of the uh, pulse is there but pudge no just there and pain apple will actually be the first one to fall no will it be daffy Daffy, in fact, goes down first. Bugs has to watch out here. Ooh, Ghost Chip. What will it hit? It will hit Wind Hunt. One turn taking a lot of damage. Pudge, meanwhile, getting a kill on the Razor. Good kill there. Uh, it's a one for one right now. Both two cores down, but Terrible One might actually be the next one to fall. All Terrible One. They throw down a Sentry Ward. They want to get a kill on All Coward, but All Coward will not die. Oh, well, yes, he will. Pure Skills picking up a kill. But, oh, bam, miss on the hook. So it's a two for two. Uh... Two cores down on both sides. Well, actually, kunku has been playing a supporting role. Techies, suicide squadding, life stealer, bot lane. So, in fact, it's a three for two. Techies suicide doesn't really count as suicide. It does not lose you as much gold. In fact, I don't think it loses you. No, it does lose you some gold, but it will not lose you as much. And it has a shorter respawn time available for you. That does mean Suicide Squad is on cooldown, however, right now he probably doesn't care. Windhood will be the next one to fall. What was that? Bugs, I'm not sure what you wanted to do there. Probably mistiming the um, X marks the spot. And now Painapple is trying to do much. Trying to get something terrible. One. Will he get a kill on Bugs? It depends. Bugs will suicide? Yes, he will. In fact, Terrible One might look like he needs a bit of a situation. Nice torrent there, but he's invis just before the torrent hits. He knows the combo. He knows that. He knows what he has to do. Daffy is very indeed, but he's got Techies to back him up. Techies does not have Suicide Squad, or squad though, so... Now it's up in 30 minutes. He has Status Trap. In fact, he did not get Remote Mines yet. Daffy just has a level 1 ult, so there's nothing much they can do here. And there you go. Brad's Pits is actually placing a lot of mines here. Probably wants to catch someone off guard. But does he want to bait? Oh, they know. They know. Yeah, there you go. The mines are on. He's actually going to attempt a suicide. What is he going to do? Attempt a suicide? There you go. Suicide squad hits. Bugs actually gets pure skills out of there. Alchemist will take the kill. Will Bugs die to Noob Tacker, though? In fact, Noob Tacker is actually diving in a bit too deep. Really tunnel visioning Bugs here. That will cost him his life. And this means that Pudge Nudge should be able to have free reign. Two people left alive? Yeah, why the fuck not push? Ah. Uh, why not push? Sorry, guys. This is <laughs> a 12 plus screen. <laughs> I'm gonna say. It is the internet, though. Uh, terrible one is looking for or Coward. Wants to get a kill. In fact, though, he will get picked up by Bugs, who will instantaneously uh, eat him up, this member. And we will actually switch to net worth right now just to check how it is. Alchemist is 71, 7,100, which is to be expected. In fact, I want to see Alchemist's GPM. 
it's 530 so not the 1000 gpm one that we're having but you know what that requires people to stack cam sphere which hasn't been happening of course these supports aren't your standard supports these are the supports you pick if you want to do aggressive kills and they have been showing their worth i mean okawa doesn't have items but he has been hitting his torrent x combos pretty well what's going on here just some march of the machines action actually Rats Pits will back off. Suicide Squad is about to come up, and in fact, he just leveled Remote Man's up to level 2, going for the level 10 Remote Man's build. Uh, Pudge Nudge is just going to walk up, straight up walk up here, and dismember Windhunt. Freeze has already been used. Will they get Pudge before he will be able to kill Windhunt? In fact, Bugs just backs off. Nice boat! What a boat! Uh, pure skill will fall as well. What a boat, though. Oh my god. That was worth it. P Pudge, nudge, pugs, bugs, taking a lot of damage. But Boat's debuff was on him. Or buff, if you really want to call it. It's more of a buff, actually. So he will not end up dead. Doesn't even need to suicide. He'll just be back to base and stay there. Techies, on the other hand, is having the time of his life. He's just rolling around the enemy jungle and placing mines there. Waiting for that un... <laughs> Un, you know, that uncanny lifestealer to walk into the jungle and get incinerated. Or cowardice has boots of travel, so he's going for a more global presence build, and it does make sense considering he is um, been the reason why a lot of these fights are going as they are. Alongside with Bugs, who I expect will be getting um, a four staff next. Actually, he's going yours first, so. More of a less mobility, more more secured hooks, and it does make sense. They have a lot of stuns on this team. If they can secure hooks well, then it's usually a dead hero there. They have the damage, they have the hooks, and it's 10,000 net worth on that thief. We'll just check his GPM. He's up to 640. Alright. Uh, Beast, meanwhile, has been doing uh, very well. He's got this blink dagger, he's got his boots of travel. He can get anything really next. He can go for the Hex. He can go for the... Oh, what a nice hook on Windhunt. Long range hook. Uh, just inside rock range to kill. Um, him. Will they actually get Bugs here? Yes, they actually will. Ghost Chip misses. They will. Bugs manages to escape. Or Coward might be in a bit of a situation here. Although, Boots of Travel. Just making sure he can got to go fast out of there. Terrible one. Terrible one. Might actually go for All Coward here. He's got the bow debuff on him. Buff, debuff, same thing. And in fact, Orkhoud will uh, TP out. Brad's pits, meanwhile. Two deaths, but both of them suicides. He will commit suicide once again here. Just to make sure that they will not secure the... Whoa, what a detonation! I was expecting that to happen, but... Uh, very good detonation. And in fact, Tekis will be rushing an Ags just so he can have more of those detonations. Oh, a nice hook onto the Weaver from Pudge. Check that worth quickly. It's up to 20,000. I'm sorry I haven't checked it before, but you know what? It's been exciting. This match has been. Or not, but you know, have been completely stomping. It's 20,000 net worth, 15,000 going to 20,000 XP. Pretty good statistics from Pudge Nudge there. Pulse. I'm going to check Pulse. I have not seen Razor in ages. I mean, Windhund has his Tranks, uh, Tranks, Arcane, so. Doing fine. It's all he really needs, but you know what? If he had more, he would probably take more. Nothing much on the CM. She doesn't need much, but once again, if she had those, if she had a few more items, it would be good. Good hook by Bugs. He's going to get her Pain Apple, who still has relatively nothing. In fact, though, Pudge will not kill him. Is this member only level one? Is yours up though? No fresh flesh heaps yet. Doesn't need them yet. Uh, X Marks is out onto Windhunt. Uh, from behind, Aquino is there. Uh, Bugs will pick up a kill on the back line. Yules up on CM. She will probably end up dead. I'm watching Akino here. Akino, will he die? No, he will not. Terrible one is actually going to Skakuchi. Oh, he almost Skakuchi'd right into there. Pudgeon, meanwhile, getting uh, life stealer. Crystal Maiden dying to tech his minds. Placed preemptively. Akino, very low health. Terrible one, will he die? He probably will. X marks the spot is there. Uh, Pud. Bugs will be there, but Techies Mines will secure him the kill, and that is a godlike Techies. 
He's in fact just about finished with his Agonims, so remote mines will be the scariest thing on the map now. This is what happens when a Tiki starts going crazy. He's got like, he can just commit suicide any time he wants and he can place remote mines anywhere. It's a scary combination that you don't want happening to yourself. Bob Yolnir up on the Alchemist going a more farm oriented, speed oriented build. But you know what, that's a typical build up on Augs, uh, on Alk. You get the Maelstrom, you get the Yolnir, and it looks like he's actually just going to build up into an AC now. See what his GPM is, 715, so it's rising. You probably still won't get the 1000 GPM that most people have, but you know what, that's not what you want in these pro games. In these pro games you want to secure a win, you don't want to get with 1000 GPM. Remote mines are being placed down by Brad Spitz, and we're just looking at Radiant Team here since I haven't talked about them much. There's nothing on Razor. Razor is down in the dumps when it comes to GPM. Noob Tega has an armlet, but that's about it. Um, terrible one, really just doesn't have anything either. And there you go, Orc Howard is frozen and Windhoat is hooked though. Will Orc Howard actually put a debuff on him? He will still die. Bugs looks like in a bit of a situation now as it's a 4 versus 1. He should have walked this way as it might have gone into Tekki's mind. Bugs will in fact just keep walking. Tekki's mines are there. Oh, a nice kill by Tekki's and now he's just reversing it. Whoa! Well played by Pudge there. Getting Lifestealer and committing suicide, so very well played by Pudge, I have to say. I probably would have completely messed that one up. Then again, I do suck. <laughs> That's why I'm your caster and not your, get and your, your player here. Alchemist, meanwhile, is going to push through top. Yeah, this is... I'm, I'm just going to go out and say it right now. There you go. Kino's hooked, but you know what? He doesn't care. Windhook, he can just rearm while Windhunt is there. Actually, what is Akimo doing? He's going in a bit too deep, and <laughs> Ogre Magi will actually get a lot of gold for that. Uh, or Coward will be frozen up. Probably wants, wanted to get wintered frozen. I mean, fire blasted. It's t I'm just going to go out and say it. 25,000 net worth leading up to 30,000. Same thing on the XP. It's slowly rising, but that's only because Windhood just ended up dead. Ghost Chip is in, but what was that for? There's nothing there. I'm just going to say it right now. Pulse is pretty much boned. And all Coward is going weird. He's doing some weird things. So that would be that. Pudge actually getting a kill on the CM top. And he's got 21 fleshy stacks. So he's probably feeling pretty good right now. Like I said, like we can check items. There's really nothing much up on anyone right now. Uh, Daffy, on, on, I mean Pulse, of course. Daffy has his Mjolnir AC. In fact, all Coward is going to uh, be hooked out here, and it looks like he's going to die. Uh, but not without actually revealing the position of the entire Radiant team to Dyer. Who will... Bugs is starting to clean up. They're starting with Weaver. Uh, he's going to back off now, but you know what? That's that. They killed Weaver, losing Kunker. It's a payoff for them, really. Weaver didn't get too much gold from that. And look at this. This is... Oh, this entire side here is freaking uh, Pudge Nudge's map. I mean, right now there's a freeze up on Daffy, but he doesn't have ult yet, actually. So he's going to be in a bit of a... Tr he's actually in a lot of trouble here. TP onto him, so upgraded boots are there. Oh, unfortunately, he dies before whoever was TPing in. I'm going to say Tinker. Was able to save him. Yes, it was Tinker. Bugs is on the back line, using up. And now the TP is in. In Global Presence for the win. Windhunt is not hit. No one hits by the Ghost Ship debuff. In fact, I'm just going to say the buff was... It was there to buff the team. Lasers are up for Tinker. And Pineapple will be... Will fall. Windhunt will get hooked up and fall. Bugs is going to heal up on the back lines. He has a blink now, so his mobility is there. In fact, they're actually just going to X marks him. It's a good strategy. It, it works. Here he comes. And he's fully bannered, and his health should regen. Start regening around about now. Brad Pitts has his um, agonims for quite a while now, and it looks like he's actually going to get himself the yules he needs for that mana regen. Pure skills, meanwhile, trying to build up into uh, probably what's going to be a bracer. Nice hook does not hit anything. Then it's probably not a nice hook actually. Probably anticipating a bit more action from Noob Tagger. 
They're going to place up a ward there so they can see the Pudge. Noob Tag is trying to build up towards an MKB. Most likely Javelin suggests MKB. Or a, or a Basher. Oh, whoops. Yes, of course, a Basher. It's not usual you see a, a, a Javelin before <laughs> on its own. Yeah, so Basher is the obvious choice here. I am sorry. Uh, there goes my game sense. Please crucify me. They know where Pudge is now, though, but he's out. He's just saying, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. I'm going to blink out of here. Oh, there you go. Only getting Ogre Machi, though, so not too good. In fact, the TPs are up, though, so Pain Apple will probably end up dead. Bugs is there to secure the kill. Yule's up onto CM. Will this member come out? Yes, this member will come up on Noob Tagger, though. CM will not die. No, she will, too. Tinker. Noob Tagger is now in a bit of a situation. X Marks is there. Hook is there. Torrent is there. Lasers are there. And they will just casually take this tier 2. Net worth, once again, up to 3,000. Coming up to 3,500. XP, 3,000. 30,000. 30,000. It's 30,000, not 3,000. 3,000 would be salvageable. 30,000 isn't very salvageable. And like my good old friend Zach says, this is basically non-consensual. So shout out to him. He's my, he's a baru. Uh, excuse me. Some slight issues, but that was nothing. All Coward getting multicasted, but he's got X marks on him. So he doesn't have to care. And what is Pudge Nudge going to do now? They could not push high ground. They don't have any Aegis. They don't have any high health heroes other than... Actually, Pudge is 3,100 health. Oh, Alchemist is going that far. He's starting to give Axe to everyone. Oh, dear. That's pretty good. There you go. Tinker actually... Tinker and Kunkeg both getting kills. Does Tinker actually have an Axe? I want to see, I want to, I want to see the laser eggs. Uh, Techie's getting more kills everywhere. Is Alchemist really farming eggs up for everyone? It probably is. I mean, he really could be. He needs techies could throw away the eggs, but uh, it's not such a good idea. P Pudge tries to hook, not reaching anything. I really want to see the Tinker eggs, though. Um. Yeah, Tinker has a 4 stuff. He's going full mobility here. Like I said, he could really build anything. Probably wants to build something like a Hex next. Uh, Ghost Chip is up. All Cloud will be actually... ...be taken back. Fail Boat there onto All Cloud. Nice hook there onto Pure Skills and he will die. Bugs with 3,200 health is actually going to get punished by the Lifestealer here who punishes high up heroes. No damage still for Razor who's building up a mech but unable to finish it. Who will probably end up dead here. Yes, he will. Pugs is using himself up. New tagger. Will he be the next one to fall? Lasers. Are they up? Lasers are not up. He doesn't have enough mana for it. Bugs is going to survive through this one. And noob tagger will end up dead. Bugs trying to secure the kill. But uh, that was that. Are they going to do the good old X marks? No, they will not. In fact, Pugs is once again going to heal up on the back of mind. And Brad's Pits will, be, will receive the buff. In fact, they did do the X marks. So Bugs will be back here in a few seconds. There he is. Rats Pit's taking the tower, getting a Yule, so he's, he's he's doing really well for himself. And yes, another Ags is actually up onto um, Alchemist's uh, inventory, so he's building Ags for everyone now. I mean, why not? They're basically ahead by so much. They're ahead by so much. <laughs> wow, they're ahead. Oh my god. Oh my goodness gracious. And it is night time. Who's he going to give it to this time? I'm going to say Tinker. Yes, Tinker, in fact, has already has the eggs. Uh, let's see how... I want to see the laser refraction. I just want to see it. There, uh, status trap is popped. Lots of rockets coming out there. And Pudge uh, Bugs will actually... There you go. Whoa, what a refraction. New Tagger will be the next one to fall. That's the first time I've actually seen Tinker eggs, though. And there you go. That's it. This is it. They cannot defend against this, especially since Daffy's... All he needs to do now is start stacking moon shards. And that's it. X marks leading Kunker to whatever. Pause by Techies. Not really worth it. I mean, you've basically taken ranks at this point. And here you go. Pineapple is trying to do something. 
But it's going to end up in his death. There you go. There's the GG. Well played by Pulse Gaming. They are now out of the tournament, unfortunately. However, let's hope they learn from this. Let's hope. Let's hope they can consolidate their losses. Play better and probably come back for the next. And probably come back the next time. So good luck to them. And good luck to Pudge Nudge in the next stages of the tournament. We will probably be back for the rest of the tournament. I'm going to have a look. If we are not, I will say this over stream. For now, though, this has been Morality Clause casting to you Pudge Nudge versus Pulse, an obvious victory for Pudge Nudge here. Very well played by them. And they will be playing against... I will quickly check who they will be playing against. They will be playing against Hornick Menos next, who we also casted last time. Let's see how they fare. In any case, this has been Morality Clause, and I will see you guys later.